Welcome back to my channel, it's Emily Lucy Ratch. I hope you are good. Today is Healthy Habits Update. It's now been over six months, which is crazy. I don't know where this year has gone. I've seen all these memes that's like January for Brimma. <laughs> that is what it feels like. How is this August entering into September? It's like a little bit scary, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I'm doing really well. I am still keeping up with my healthy habits they have definitely become habits um i think the last few days i've been really struggling in just maintaining i feel like i'm actually not losing any more weight recently um it's fine but i just think because i've been on this journey for so long now i really was hoping that i'd be getting closer to my goal um which is i think 28 lbs in total doing the couch 5k which has been really good but then i hurt my knee this week so i've only ended up going on one run, run on week two so then that's kind of deterred me from being as like focused as i was because like the last video i just shared with you i was so Focus and enjoying running. I felt, felt really like I do not want to exercise. I do not want to eat well. I just want to be. I just want to sit and read my book in bed. Like honestly, I've become so obsessed with these Anna Huang books. I've read six books since my holiday. I mentioned it in the cruise vlog. I'm I'm now on book seven. I had a problem, but this is what I'm saying. All I want to do is sit in the garden reading my book that's just not going to help me get to my goal is it i'm just being really lazy so i think what i'm gonna do i wanted to do this video which is obviously what i eat in a day but instead of doing what i'm eating in a day now because i'm plateauing and i've shared so much in the last few months of what i've done to lose the weight that i've lost by obviously making changes to reducing oil having not thick lip like on everything and just making healthier choices then it's been really easy for me to lose the weight whereas now my body's got used to that and i feel like i'm plateauing so i need to maybe not reduce calories because i still think i need a lot of calories to be able to do what i do i'm quite an active person with my job and walking max and stuff every day running so i'm not going to be reducing my calories to lose weight i think because i'm not tracking calories at the moment, there's probably days I'm eating way more and then other days I'm eating way less, which is fine if you want to maintain because I want to lose weight. I'm obviously not saying I'm an expert on this. So if you're watching this and like writing notes down, like, yes, Emily's right about this. Do not, I don't have, have any qualifications or knowledge in nutrition. I think the reason that I'm plateauing is because I'm not tracking calories and I need to make sure that I'm having enough protein because there's another thing, I've been eating a lot less meat because I've been trying to be more of a pescatarian, not eating beef, not eating pork, lamb. Not that I was eating a mass amount of those anyway, but I think because I'm, because I'm trying to make more vegetarian and pescatarian choices, a lot of those things don't have as much protein in as I was having. So I think that's one thing, I'm not having enough protein in my diet. I'm definitely exceeding calories on certain days and I'm definitely under eating on other days and there's just no consistency. I think for me to get the best results with running and training and reaching my goal to lose 28 LBs, this is what I need to do to step it up and get to that goal. I think I've done pretty well to just intuitively eat for seven months. I think that's pretty good going and be able to lose the weight that I've lost. I think I've lost now in total one and a half stone so there's not really that much further to go to get to my goal make sure that i'm really continuing to be in this healthy mindset and these habits that i've created stay so instead of just going through it and being like i hope this works and i hope this happens i'm actually making a plan and the plan is to start calorie counting which i'm gonna do for the first day tomorrow i'm gonna do it together but before i get into that i want to tell you something so exciting this video is sponsored by skims can we believe that i worked with skims in the past i think it was two years ago this month that i worked with skims on a review of their shapewear and i absolutely loved it if you follow me on instagram or tiktok you will know i post about skims shapewear every month maybe maybe twice a month like I absolutely adore it. I cannot live without it. It is my go-to. If you want to see that video of me reviewing the Skims shapewear that I still wear every month, two years later, that's linked down below in the description. What I want to talk to you about today from Skims is 
the t-shirts and their comfort range. I am obsessed. So I've sent this t-shirt and have not taken it off. When I tell you, it is so comfortable. The fit, I feel like it's just giving quality premium basics, which you know I am so about. So I'm probably gonna wear this again tomorrow because I'll show you and hype how amazing this cotton t-shirt is. And I just love Skims, comfortable, everyday t-shirts this is my go-to especially going through into fall these work so well to transition from lightweight summer into fall but i'll see you tomorrow for our first day of calorie counting what i eat in a day wearing skims good morning good morning welcome to my channel my name is maxima we're gonna go get some breakfast get our first calorie counted breakfast got my first meal which is one whole apple and then two tablespoons of peanut butter this is extra crunchy peanut butter with no palm oil and it's working out at like 230 calories i think so the peanut butter is the highest calories it's 190 calories and then the apple is hardly anything but this is like my favorite thing to eat at the moment i'm obsessed i just love peanut butter and apple had a shower and now i'm getting ready for work this blush i feel like i've spoken about it on every single platform now tiktok instagram and now youtube but it's been my summer go-to like it is the nicest product and i accidentally came across it. it came in one of my space nk boxes i think the i think it's called sunset blush balm and it's in shade rosa liquid blush but it just makes you look so like sun-kissed same with this mascara it's from rose ink it was in one of my space nk boxes and obsessed with it i am in the desperate need of getting some maintenance i'm looking like the disheveled version of myself like i can always tell around this time where my lvls wore off my eyebrows I'm no longer tinted and they look light. I just think it really ages me when my eyebrows are lighter. My hair is in desperate need of colouring, so I'm booked in next week for that. I'm actually gonna do a video on that. I'm ready for work. I'm wearing fragrance today, Santal Noir by Christian Dior. I love this one. I feel like it's more of an autumn scent, but I'm, I'm ready. I'm so ready for autumn fashion. Not the weather, but just the fashion. So this reminds me so much that it's coming. The one that I've been wearing a lot this summer is actually Burberry Goddess. This is like my summer go-to fragrance at the moment. Just wanted to switch it up a little bit because you know when you've been wearing fragrance for a while you just can't smell it anymore. In m &S, there is this Taste of Asia range which I love and they're actually really reasonable calories. So this is 500, 300. This is the one that I love. 308 and it's got 38 grams of protein. They are so good for lunch. And then in this other section, they have the protein boxes, which you've got 22 grams of protein in, which Anthony likes. And then these ones are also really good, which are um, healthy meals. Another snack that I've been having a lot of are these, these rye sourdough flatbreads, 33 calories per slice. And I have them with avocado. I'm gonna get some more of those because they're actually really good. Tonight we've got some chicken. So I'm just gonna get some veg to go with it. This I'm either gonna have char grilled chicken cogette, 237 calories and 25 grams of protein, or I think it's gonna have to be this one chili chicken ramen, 308 calories and it's got in 38 grams of protein. This has me in a choke hold. It's literally like a Chinese takeaway. So it's got bean sprouts in it, noodles, loads of chili, chicken. Oh, I'm actually drooling at the thought of eating that, so. This is what I'm wearing today. Obviously got the Skims t-shirt on, the cotton, so comfortable. And I love how it like contours at the same time. The color is like a, just a light, like almost cream, yellow undertone. I love it to wear with these jeans and my sandals on the day today. I just think, what a simple, just 
comfortable outfit. I'm gonna go have my lunch now and then I've got fits all afternoon, so it's probably the last time you're gonna see my outfit before home. And tonight we are gonna have tea early and then we're going to the cinema to watch Deadpool, so I'm excited for that. But I might take my own cinema treat so that I am not tempted to hit the ice cream. This is just so nice. I've got a real obsession with bean sprouts at the minute as well. Mm. Quick cup of tea before I go back to work. My sweet tooth is always these mini cookies from Aldi. I have 99 calories in them. You get like four in a bag, I think, five. But they're just so good for getting those mid-afternoon sweet cravings with a cup of tea. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Just got home. I'm gonna have chicken sausages. The veg that I picked up, you're on top of the microwave, which is what you can hear. And we're gonna make mashed potatoes, gravy. I've got loads of calories left, so I'm like, what do I fancy? And that is exactly what I fancy. I cut my hair up because honestly, I've just had one of those afternoons where I got more and more disheveled as the day went on. My nails, I'm gonna go get my nails done tomorrow. Do you know, like I mentioned, every, I'm, just, I'm just in need of all my treatments. My nails are seriously offending me right now. We've got the spray oil to cook it in. This has been a huge game changer for me. As I said, in the first few videos, I was using way too much oil and just having the spray oil being so much better for, for not wasting calories. I think that looks delicious. A little bit of gravy on my Yorkshire pudding and on my chicken sausages. For cinema treats, I'm taking, well, it's not going to last, I'm going to have it way before the cinema, but for dessert, Mars ice cream. So they have 132 calories in each Mars ice cream, and honest to God, they are unbelievable. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I think my next video is going to be how I glow up, because a lot of my treatments that I had done for my holiday are now running out of things that help me look my best. So I thought, Do you know what, I'm going to take you with me, so that'll be my next video. So make sure you've subscribed and rung the bell so that you don't miss that one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.